we continue our reading of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, an invitation to spend a year with your best friend, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading is April 28, Jesus, Sane or Insane. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. And when his family heard it, they went out to seize him. For people were saying, He is beside himself. Mark three, nineteen to 21 It must be getting pretty bad when even your family thinks you're crazy. How is it, we may be wondering, that Jesus' family could reach such a conclusion? If we think about it, possible reasons aren't too difficult to discover. For one... Jesus had left what was apparently a prosperous carpenter's business in Nazareth. And for what? To become a wandering teacher with no visible means of support. Second, Jesus wasn't coming across as politically astute. In fact, he was obviously on a collision course with both the religious and secular leaders of the nation, and he didn't even seem to care. Third, Jesus had formed his own little religious society, a strange one at that, fisherman, a reformed tax collector, a fanatical nationalist, riffraff, Those are not the kind of people you gather around yourself if you want to make an impact on society. The family could only conclude that Jesus, for his good qualities, was losing touch with reality. Beyond that, his course of action not only endangered himself, but might eventually put the entire family at risk. Thus, their attempt to take custody of him so that they could keep him away from trouble. From Jesus' perspective, we can only wonder if such experiences lie behind his saying that a man's foes will be those of his own household. Matthew 10.36 What meaning does this episode have for us? Much in every way. Madness is the verdict of the secular, and even the religious world for all those who enthusiastically give their entire lives to a religious philanthropic cause. J.D. Jones writes that the world honors the man who for the sake of fame risks his life in battle. But if a man risks his life for souls for whom Christ died, it counts him a fool. And Halford Lukak added, He is mad, has always been an ultimate tribute in Christian history to those who served. Not two masters, but one. Paul won that distinguished service decoration. Festus cried, Paul, you are mad. Acts 26, 24. How is it with me? Am I mad, or just a plain old normal church member? This concludes our reading today of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus.